Ah yes, agent, please come in, take a seat. I suspect you're here for your next assignment, is that correct? Yes, I'll be with you in just one moment. Let me finish. Okay, and all right, very good. Now, to get your next assignment, as I'm sure you remember, we must start off with identity verification. This may take some time depending on your specific clearance level. Is that all right? All right, good. So if you could please give me your agent security key and we can go ahead and get started. You are Agent 476. Could you please verify your name and address? Okay, and cover um, occupation if applicable. Okay, perfect. And your identity photo. Yes. Well, you do look quite similar, so if you are in disguise, I compliment you. Hopefully you are not. That would be quite awkward, wouldn't it? Now for the class one security questions. We have a few of these. So for question number one. Could you give me the location of your last assignment, please? Yes, in country. Okay, good. And your mother's maiden name? Excellent. And your childhood best friends? First name, please. Perfect. And lastly, 421, we will do a quick pupil scan. So if you will look forward for me, we are going to do one eye at a time. Yes, both eyes, of course. All right, if you go ahead and look forward for me. Do your left eye first. Very good. All right, you can go ahead and blink. Perfect. Now your right eye. Lastly, if you could look right at the light just for a few moments. I know it is bright and again try not to blink. I'm going to hold it right in the center of your vision. Ready? results here. Yes, excellent. It seems like everything is matching up. All right, so you have passed level one of your security clearance test, but it looks like you do have clearance um, 
that is we have a few more tests we need to go through before you are cleared to receive your assignment it seems you are an important person so we will need to do a few more things here all right so we have your uh, class 2 security questions if you are ready so, number one, what is a secret only a few people in your life are aware of? All right, and question two, can you name all of the cousins on your mother's side of your family? First and last names, most current last name. Okay, very good. And question three, your most embarrassing moment from primary school. Excellent, thank you. And last question, what is your favourite game? Okay, good. And next, for this level, we will do a facial scan, a scan of your face, a basic facial scan. So if you would, look straight ahead once again, try not to move your face. If you could retain a neutral expression for me. Perfect. Starting the scan. bring those results into the system. Alright, all finished. Submit. Ah, okay, you have passed. Security uh, clearance B. Interesting. Interesting. You must be a very important person. We have a third level of security clearance. We must pass before I give you your briefing. Yes. Your mission must not only be secret, it must be top secret. So for this security level, we will start with a DNA uh, analysis. And because this takes a few moments, I'm going to go ahead and collect that sample now. If you could go ahead and lean forward for me, I'm going to plug a single eyebrow hair and get the sample bottle open. All right. All ready for you. If you could lean forward for me. Very 
good. Right. I'm just going to place that into the DNA analyzer. Turn this on. So that is running its analysis for us. While that is being processed, I will also perform a quick advanced face scan. Give me a moment while I set that up. For this face scan, I'm going to ask that you start by just looking forward for me, and I'm going to ask that you turn your head 180 degrees uh, in one direction. Yes, that is 180. And then I'm going to ask that you turn your head the other direction. Okay, so we are getting your face from several different angles. Let's see here. See, I believe we need this to there we go, okay. Be not quite. Here we go. Alright. It's a few different facial modes on this one have the scanner right here. If you could just focus right in the center. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and start to remove in front of my desktop. Well, you're right here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start. Just keep looking straight. You could turn your head 180 degrees in one direction. Good. Good. And if you could go ahead and turn your head the other direction. we forgot what we need. Good. Right, let me bring those results in so it can also be analysing while we do your class 3 security questions. your class 3 security questions. Question 1. What is one secret that you have only shared with us? Question two. Can you give me the names of your great grandmother on your mother's mother's side? Right. And can you give me the name of your great grandfather on your father's mother's side?
And question three, the person that has influenced you most throughout your life. Very good. All right. And question four, a moment where your life significantly going to be all the questions. All right, let me check our DNA sample. It should be complete. Good, that has come back uh, as a perfect match. And your face is scan. Okay, that's cleared as well. All right, Looks like you are finally cleared. You have made it through all of the security clearances and I can finally brief you on your assignment. Let's take a look here. Well, it looks like you have a bit of a choice. How unusual talents must be in high demand at the moment. All right, so I have a few assignments for you. Assignment one takes place in Budapest, Hungary. It seems we've received intelligence on some sort of mass destruction weapon being built by one of the organized crime assemblies. Your mission would be to investigate these claims, find out what sort of weapon, where it's located, and hopefully destroy it in any blueprints or plans associated with it. So they, of course, just can't build it again. And it has been a while since we've had the ground on the ground personnel in this particular city. So updated intelligence on the underground operations there is also emphasized with this mission. How does that sound? Okay, well then I'll go ahead and give you assignment two and see how you like that. Assignment two will likely end up taking you to several specific locations, but it would hope hopefully be restricted primarily to Europe, although they aren't entirely sure at the moment. We've had intelligence that some of the crown jewels are missing, particularly pieces connected to Queen Elizabeth II. They have been replaced with convincing fakes, of course, so the public is unaware. But we have sent several lower level agents to try and locate them with no success. So now we are making the mission available to our senior agents. The mission would start in London, where you'll be briefed again on the ground, and then you would follow any leads from there. Other agents have gotten as far as, oh goodness, Greece, with their leads. So this mission might take you to several locations. Any interest there? Well, I will go ahead and give you the third mission. A chemical engineer of significance has gone missing while on holiday in Finland. Now, usually this would be a lower level case, but it seems that their research dealt with hydrogen car efficiency, which ties into oil, which ties into politics. You know how these things go. So we are sending top agents to look into the matter. This of course would start in Finland, but likely lead elsewhere. And that is the final mission I have for you. Do you have a preference on what you'd like? All right, mission two, wonderful. I'll give you a little bit more information, indicate this mission has been taken and then I will get you on your way. 
on to our gear department. So again, this mission would start in London, where you'll be brought up to speed on everything the Royal Guard knows about the case, and then you would follow any leads of your own from there. I can get you on a flight out as soon as tonight, though of course there are options tomorrow if you are busy tonight for whatever reason. Tonight. Alright then. And for your lodgings, I forget, do you prefer something high profile or lower profile? High profile. Alright. The Ritz, it is. Perfect. And for this mission, there's no need for extra passports or identification. Your basic identity should be sufficient, at least for the first leg of your journey. That may change depending on where your leads take you, of course, but you know where to reach us if you need any help with documents. You have a meeting with the head of security at the Tower of London in approximately two days' time at midday. Your flight leaves tonight at 7.30 and you are booked at the Ritz London for a week starting tomorrow night. All confirmations are, of course, emailed to your private email. You can now proceed to the gear and technology department where you'll receive local currencies and any other gadgets you feel you need for this mission, any updates or anything like that you need for your current gear, uh, you can also get in the gear department. All right, now we'll also email a copy of the mission details and anything else you might need. You can also, of course, print that if you want, also in the gear and technology department. If you prefer to work on paper. Yes, that does include all the leads from previous uh, agents. Yes, and details on the specific jewels that are missing. All right. Well, do you have any questions before I send you on your way? Perfect, no questions. So, that concludes your briefing. Thank you for your time, Agent. You have your mission. Good luck. Seven six. He's headed to gear and technology.